Everybody ages, especially you. A variety of opponents. Wow. Fantastic, Jenny. But what's weird is when people who were celebs when they were young grow up because their youth is forever immortalized on film and it's kind of weird to see them change. I wrote to her when I was uh, going through the eating disorder. And none more so than everyone's favorite film series about a school of British wizards. This is the Harry Potter cast then and now. Number 15, Daniel Radcliffe. From the time he was a young age, Radcliffe showcased a desire to act at age 5. When he was age 10, with an innocent smile, Daniel Radcliffe became renowned as the star of the show Harry Potter, and has emerged into a fearsome-looking man with a gigantic beard in one of his new titles, Jungle. Covering a wide array of titles ranging from his well-known fantasy series to horrors like The Woman in Black and Horns, Daniel Radcliffe has shown he has diversity and talent all across the board. Showcasing a dedication to his craft over the years and a developing career, Daniel Radcliffe hasn't squandered the opportunities that have come his way. Better be Gryffindor! Continuing to showcase and progress with his talents, Daniel is a fantastic example of the boy who lived becoming the man who thrived. He's enjoying a long history of making quality films now at the age of 31. If you were handed an opportunity of a lifetime, would you let it slip or would you endure like Daniel Radcliffe and turn that opportunity into the career of a lifetime? Seems like the greatest opportunities in life just require a little bit of hard work and dedication to get the results you dream for. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14, Rupert Grint. Rupert Grint was everyone's best friend growing up, making you feel like the brave one most of the time, but always there for you, by your side, loyal to the bitter end. Rupert Grint was cast at Ron at the age of 11, and having previously acted only in school plays and at his local theater group, the role was a huge advancement, to say the least. School plays, I was once in a talent show, I dressed up as Mystic Meg. Like Daniel, Rupert has not squandered his opportunity to thrive in his acting career, even though he struggled to adjust to the levels of success that the Harry Potter franchise left him with. He has surprised many people many times with his incredibly diverse acting talents, showing up in films like the comedy Moonwalkers, all the way to Broadway's 2014's It's Only a Play. Setting a wonderful tone for being a father, Rupert has shown us that parenthood can make a man mature with merit. What do you think? Is Rupert's transformation inspiring? Going from a boy into a turbulent yet successful young man and then into a caring father, Rupert is an inspiration of what we can become from what we were. Number 13, Emma Watson. When Emma Watson was only 10 years old, she was scouted and cast as an actress for her notable role in Harry Potter. The casting agent sought after her through her theater director, and she had to go through eight rounds of auditions before being cast as the know-it-all we all remember. As Emma grew up around acting on screen into a powerful and respectful witch in the series, so also did she develop in her off-screen time from a young girl into a powerful woman. In 2014, Emma was named a United Nations woman, goodwill ambassador, and accomplished actor humanitarian. Maybe they'll acknowledge my presence, and then they'll probably be a little mean to me, and then maybe, well, you know, whatever. She now dedicates much of her efforts towards young women being empowered to succeed and showcase prowess. In 2016, Emma started an online book club urging the reader to focus on novels that promote the theme of feminism, although perhaps she'll always be remembered for her role as her Hermione Granger. But Emma Watson has shown herself to be a capable actress and activist in all aspects. Leading women around the world to stand out from crowds rather than just blend in, it's important to stay alert and aware of everyone's struggles. Number 12. Michael Gambon 
Michael Gambon is the man who proceeded to play the role of Dumbledore after Richard Harris passed away in 2002. Rest in peace. Michael is an actor who had already led a successful career before being cast in Harry Potter. Developing in talent like fine wine as a renowned and successful stage actor for titles such as All the Fall. The turning point, as far as is known, was during his time stage acting with finesse to being cast as an actor in a movie. This was due to the lines taking longer for him to memorize due to his advanced years of age. Poor guy. I got out of the limo driving to Leicester Square. I got out of a four thousand children. Since the role of Dumbledore, Michael has continued to captivate audiences around the world with his long beard and wise eyes. In 2015, Michael was cast in J.K. Rowling's The Casual Vacancy and the film King's Man. Always showing the wisdom of his years, Michael continues to teach his audience in roles that give great insight and life lessons that many can reflect on throughout all the ages to come. His insight and skill in acting pioneers the way forward for many would-be actors and his audience who are listening attentively to his instruction. Number 11. Robbie Coltrane like his elder before him, Michael Gambon, Robbie Coltrane was an already well-established actor. However, his fame and experience stemmed from his Scottish background. Appearing larger than life on the screens at the Hogwarts Academy hut life, Robbie proceeded to participate in voice acting. With a voice that robust and manly, it's not hard to imagine him doing well in voice acting, which he did, so that's great. Robbie was a star in the 30-year running The Comic Strip Presents, which which is a staple British comedic series. His last big film was F.E. Grey in 2014, and then on national British television, he starred in the show National Treasure in 2016. They're, they're telling a story, but after five minutes, you, you can visu visualize it yourself. You think, oh, I was there myself. We imagine he's probably out in the wilderness now, enjoying a pint of Guinness and a steak pie while raising some adorable and strange creatures, or finding strange artifacts. The gentle and kind man has been a blessing on the big screens and will continue to be remembered as a hallmark for times to come. Thank you for being Hagrid. Robbie, you are the man. Number 10. Maggie Smith Maggie Smith is an actress who has, throughout her career, taken a firm approach to being a woman with a guiding hand, firmly positioned as a woman of strength and reproving all who find themselves on the receiving end of her wonderfully concise exemplification of discipline. Her role as Professor McGonagall was not the first or last woman Maggie Smith has showcased this feminine strength of character through, guiding others to success with good intentions and firm instruction. Give me a girl at an impressionable age and she is mine for life. Since Professor McGonagall, Maggie has won a Golden Globe, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and Emmy Awards for her roles as the Lady Violet Crawley in Downton Abbey. Maggie is pretty much just awesome. She helped to raise $4.6 million to repair the court theater in Christchurch, New Zealand, after the earthquake destroyed any hope of theater in Christchurch. Maggie also became a patron of the International Glaucoma Association, a contributing and inspiring woman with great tuition fees. Perhaps if we keep our ears and eyes open, we may learn a thing or two from this talented woman. May there be many more wonderful things to come. Number 9. Tom Felton his character was the kid who everybody didn't want to have to deal with. Tom Felton's Draco Malfoy was the bully that wasn't that tough, but he had the money to handle any situation. Interestingly enough, however, Tom Felton is the nicest young man, with a reputation for being friendly and kind. A brilliant resolution to the end of the series. Seeing his character turn towards fighting against the main villain Voldemort, his personality really shone through, and I think set him up to be an actor who has has been able to show extremely convincing character development throughout his career. But you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go to a 
bookshop without making the front page. His prowess as a villain led him to star as another bad guy in the 2011 movie Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Since that movie, Tom has been involved in some very low-key films and shows, yet appearing next to quality actors and showcasing to the world that his talents lay with the best. He has recently appeared on a YouTube television show called Origins, which is set in space and has been seeing some great success. There's no story without a bad guy, and Tom, you're a nice guy, but you do bad good too. And somebody has to, so thanks for that. Number 8. Scarlet Burn Scarlet may not be as well known as other members of the cast, but anybody who's watched Harry Potter will have that sour taste in their mouths, remembering the moment that Pansy Parkinson was in favor of handing Harry Potter off to Voldemort. Perhaps if people agreed with her then, the whole thing would have been over quicker, but who can say for sure? What we do know is that Scarlet Byrne has done very well for herself, accumulating a net worth of over a million dollars, quite a feat for an actress who wasn't the star of the show. No more gloomy talk now. First thing we'll do is get you a decent meal, something plump and juicy from the sun. Continuing her acting career and teaming up with series such as the famous Vampire Diaries and appearing in the film Skybound, she has made an impact and an image on the world, promoting a sense of independence and not being afraid to show her personality to the world. Scarlett is currently married and enjoying the semi-reclusive and moderate approach to life, a dream that I'm sure many of us aspire to incorporate into our dreams and perhaps never quite get to. Number 7. Alan Rickman Severus Snape, the unsung hero who everybody thought less of. Perhaps it was through misunderstanding. The imposing, gothically dressed dark arts defender seemed to always try his best, even if nobody recognized his passion and strength of fighting the dark arts. His character never got to experience a year of teaching his favorite class due to dark connections. Upon retrospection, this hero went down as a martyr fighting the good fight against the enemy of all witches and wizards of the Harry Potter universe. The scary Slytherin headman has starred in classics such as Sense and Sensibility, Love Actually, and Die Hard. Not to mention the damage you inflicted on a whomping willow that's been on these grounds since before you were born. He earned for himself an Audience Choice Award for Favorite Actor in the title Seminar on Broadway. A high-caliber actor with diverse degrees of dictation, Alan Rickman has established himself as a connoisseur of quality content. In 2012, Alan married his lifetime love, Rima Horton, who he had been in a relationship with since 1965. He is now enjoying the fruits of an artist's accolades and a marriage we could all hope to have. Well done, Alan. Think you would have expected the Professor of Darkness to establish a career and life that people can only hope for? Inspiring. Number 6. Matthew Lewis Neville Longbottom was another incredibly well-developed character on a similar trajectory as Draco Malfoy. Starting out as a shy and terribly afraid young boy that we could all relate to, especially considering all the crazy and unexpected things that happen in the wizarding world and life itself as a whole, he became an incredibly confident and talented young wizard. Like his character, Matthew Lewis grew from a shy and confused young boy being cast in the Harry Potter series at the age of 11 into a very powerful, strong, and courageous actor. The only problem is, I can't remember what I've forgotten. Many of the young actors, after finishing up with the Harry Potter series, wound up in some strange places. Similarly, Matthew's next roles were pretty tough, like in the title Ripper. The more recent accolade is being cast in Game of Thrones in 2016. Matthew Lewis has surprised fans time and time again. Surely the future's looking positive for the now 30-year-old young man, and we are all excited to see what the past and future star will do in the time to come. Number 5. Bonnie Wright The Harry Potter series is filled with memorable characters that an entire generation was able to grow up to appreciate. Against a variety of opponents. Wow, Fantastic, Ginny! 
relating to the development of the characters with each individual development of skills and personality traits. Ginny Weasley was the youngest of the Weasleys, and yet was fierce, brave, quick-witted, and defiant. At first, her character was easily manipulated, but that changed the more time she spent around her trio of role models. Would you develop faster with great role models? When Bonnie began with the Harry Potter series, she was 10 years of age. After finishing in the Harry Potter series, Bonnie Wright continued her career, being chosen for another starring role in 2013's Before I Sleep. After this, she began to study, then finally became qualified in filmmaking. Trading acting for work behind the camera, Bonnie directed several short films and music videos. And in 2012, she directed her very own first short film. Having established herself as a diverse and talented individual, she's an inspiration to anyone wishing to progress, showcasing an aptitude to taking on challenges. If more of us went above and beyond, what successes could we achieve along the way? Number 4. Julie Walters Mrs. Ron Weasley was the mother who made sure you knew that you were loved from tough love to sincere love, the pinnacle of what a mother's love should look like. A role model and an icon, she defended her daughter in a fierce scene, facing off against the worst of Voldemort's crazy henchmen. We have a lot to thank Julie Walters for, but it doesn't end at the Harry Potter series. Where have you been? With notable roles in The Hollow Crown, Paddington, and Brave, and winning an International Emmy Award in 2011, Julie Walters has become a nurturing moral role model with great success. A more recent achievement was getting a role in the movie Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, and another awesome movie, Mary Poppins Returns. Showing her strength and acting prowess, Julie Walters is a name that'll shine through the generations. All I can say is that with a mother figure like her, you would never go hungry. I hope for our sakes there is much more great acting from Julie Walters on the way. Do you think she's set the tone as a role model? Number 3. Harry Melling the cousin of Harry Potter was called Dudley, and the actor of Dudley is Harry Melling. What a humorous twist. Dudley was always the character that you remember picking on Harry Potter, and there's no two ways about it, always stuffing his face with many tricky treats. It was amazing when he blew up as a balloon, floating to the ceiling, giving a certain sense of amusement from the audience at large, I'm sure. Justice served, wouldn't you agree? Harry Melling talks about his time in the role of Dudley and how, as a 10 year old, when you have sticks with tennis balls on them and they're floating around, it's pretty hard to imagine what's really going on. Coming to a later date and turning into a young and polite, mature man, Harry has become a romance icon in The Queen's Gambit, showcasing incredible development of acting talent. I'm supposed to be an electrical engineer, not a chess bum. From a youthful, immature bully character into a dashing, prominent romance bachelor with charismatic skills. Surely we're in for a treat when it comes to further developments in his acting career, being so intelligent and passionate about his craft. Number 2. Ivana Lynch being an incredible fan of the Harry Potter series before even being cast into it, Ivana Lynch was able to live a dream come true that not many of us get to live. Cherishing each moment on set and embodying the character of Luna Lovegood, Ivana was able to naturally portray the character of Luna in real life. Her personality naturally reflected the very character that she played. Luna eclipsed the expectations. After being cast and doing wonderfully in small her roles, Ivana Lynch has made herself a role model to young girls and boys who struggle with body image and mental health, predominantly anxiety. She wrote an essay titled, Why the Body Bind is My Nightmare. Huge, huge fan of the books. I wrote to her when I was uh, going through the eating disorder. Ivana Lynch gave a lot of praise to the series of Harry Potter for helping her to overcome her mental health battles. Ivana Lynch is also a vegan and an animal lover, truly reflecting her character, Luna Lovegood. As precious a person you can find, Ivana Lynch has shown the world a certain strength and vulnerability, and we're grateful to her for it. Number 1. Alfie Enoch 
Alfie Enoch is a man on a mission, taking on study the incredible Oxford University, which is known for its academic prowess. Backed by his seven years' worth of the Harry Potter series casting contributions, Alfie secured a bachelor's degree in modern language, which is an incredible feat for anyone to achieve. After he had finished his studies, he decided to return to acting. To put that into perspective, he first achieved great success as a young man. I don't trust myself. I can't be going out saying things I'm thinking. Then studied very well to achieve great success academically. Not just natively understanding language, he then returned to the place where it all began with renewed understanding of how to showcase his talents with refined understanding. And then to put that knowledge into true art. Some feats that Alfie has achieved in an acting career include his big break in American television, taking on one of the starring roles, Webb Gibbons, in the program Shondaland's How to Get Away with Murder. Alfred Enoch has paved the way for what it takes to achieve success. Not only great success, but how to refine and direct that success with cumulative results. What did you think of our 15 casts of Harry Potter then and now? What would you do with your acting career if you were cast in Harry Potter? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!